Jerry, a great start to 2023 here at Twerton Park. What a victory for Bow City today. Yeah, I think that was a performance of the season, I've got to say. I've spoke to some people afterwards already and I, that pretty much confirmed it in my mind. I thought we were excellent throughout. I thought the discipline without the ball was very good. I thought, I thought that's the best we've played in possession for a very, very long time. Um, had a real identity about the team and never looked troubled, if I'm being honest. I think Danny's teams are always very difficult to play against. I play that, you know, four-two-three-one, and then he went obviously the other way round, four-four-three-three, second half. Um, but I thought I thought they found it difficult to, for us for them to play against us. I thought the midfield two were terrific in James Morton and Luke Spokes, just not going to engage in and just shuffling across sideways. The wing backs obviously in behind that as well, and the three centre backs were terrific. Um, and the boys ahead of that, so it's a it's a three-four-three that jumps back into a five-four-one. We're not too deep. We're sat in that shape nicely, and I thought we were really comfortable with it. So. The, the, the thing was then, are we going to create enough chances to score? And I thought we did. We created so many chances today. It's all round. I have to be really pleased. That's three games unbeaten now, two clean sheets back to back. Um, and a really, like you say, Mark, a really good way to start 2023. Goals weren't half bad, were they? Pretty good, mate. <laughs> Pretty good. I mean, the first one I really enjoyed, actually, a good passing move that ended up with our wing back, Dan Hayfield. I thought he was really clever. Um, he ended up centre midfield. You've seen in that shape, he's not an out and out wing back. He, he's clever with where he goes. That reverse pack pass back into James and then James to go and drive and then that shape of right behind it shaped it in the far corner. He only scores wonderful goals when he scores for us. Um, key signing really, I've got to say he's um, he's looking he's looking really good. James physically excellent and um, probably the best I've seen him physically. And um, of course we know he's got technical ability. So I was really pleased for him and then and then then Dan it, it left wing back. You know he's been threatening all season and then when it goes to him the crowd will shoot and. Um, Cool. when he's hit it, it stayed hit, still going in now probably. So really pleased. I think he's probably been one of our best, if not the best player for the season so far, alongside Dan Hayfield. But all of them today, what, what a massive contribution. The, the signings we've made and people always question bits and bobs around it. But I thought the goalkeeper, Max, the back three have come off and said, well, how pleasing it is to have someone who actually communicates in behind them. Um, they, they'd forgotten the goalkeepers actually do that, I think. So really keen to come here and play. Really enthusiastic, full of full of energy. His handling, I thought, was really clean. So people might not have noticed him today, but I certainly did. All his handling and talking in behind the group was fantastic. And a boy who's done really well at Western. Western have done a great job with him. Played at their level all last season and gone there. This season, I wanted him early, but I couldn't get him because of the January window. And now we've got him. He's a he's a great lad to work with, and um, he deserves all the credit today for coming into a group when actually he um, he hasn't met anyone up until today. I've got to say for Danny Greenslade as well, people won't know he's been on his on his bed, he's been ill all the way through this week, never trained with us Thursday night, but he said, I'll come, I'll come and play gaffer. And um, I said I think that says a lot about our group to Mark, to be honest. I think I think that looks a real together. When people question it, it's it's, it's farcical really. Such a good group. I, I wish people come and spend a couple of days with us and I'm open to it to see the sort of work that goes on the group, how together they are, how the staff work so hard behind the scenes with me as well to try and plan for these games. And um, everyone got their just rewards today, I thought. Yeah, you have to overcome a top seven team and also a tricky surface as well. Understandably, it cut up because of such a downpour before the game. I've got to say to Dave, he's done a great job on that pitch so far. I, I text Andrew first thing this morning because I knew he was coming over. But um, it, it's held up so well. I know it's cut up a little bit there, but blimey, the, the amount of rain we've had over the course of the last 24 hours is, is ridiculous. Loads of local games have gone off. So credit to Dave, our groundsman, who spends a lot of time on it. And Andrew, of course. So, um, yeah, that helps us out there. And the way we're going to play, we need the pitch as good as we can. So, um, But they trusted each other, the boys. I still think we can still trust each other a little bit more in front of the back three. But that's me being a little bit picky on it. But, I mean, some of the possession, the pockets we found, the purpose. I think everyone's got to be a bit patient at times as well when... You know, it times us on the side and the supporters want balls thrown in the box. We haven't got those type of players. And um, I think when you're creating and you're probing and you're looking and being patient, that's the, what we're all about. And the two goals came from that as well. And um, the movement in front of the back three, I thought, was terrific, honestly. I thought, I thought Sonny did well and then blew up, obviously, because physically he'd been struggling a little bit this week. And then obviously you put on Ollie and what a, what a threat he looked as well when he went on, real physical presence. So, yeah, all of a massive contribution. Scott Wilson at the top, leading the line all the way through the team. Like I said, the back three were, were terrific today. So I'm really, really pleased. Like I said, that's, that's definitely the best performance of the season for me. 
What's the plan now for, for Tuesday, Sunset Premier Cup time? Got well, some players who need minutes, I suppose. Well, yeah, there is. I mean, you look at our bench, we'll play some of those lads, obviously. Um, we, Of course, the priority is going to be Saturday, an opportunity to go into the quarterfinals of the FA Trophy. Been over, I went across January the 2nd to watch Bracknell, real tough game, what a good side they are. And... Um, yeah, all, all I say, like I said in the bar, it's a great opportunity for our fans to go over. It's one of those grounds where you can really get heard. It's quite close. It's quite close. It's on top of you. Good opportunity for us to go over. We need to be at our best, Mark. We need to put in performance like that again. And um, hopefully we'll have some bodies. Cody's going to try and be around it this week. We don't know whether we'll get him some training Tuesday or whether he'll be on the bench or both. Joe Rains again, has been a senior chiropractor, so... We're hoping Joe will be available for Thursday, possibly to drop into the group and be available for the weekend. Um, Max can't play Tuesday, nor can, nor can Ollie, because they weren't signed in time for the FA, um, Somerset FA, so they can't play in that. But yeah, so we'll pick a team. I, I think I'll probably bring some of the youth team across as well. And um, yeah, make sure we get through the game like we have today. And There's no injuries, hopefully no illness through the week and look forward to Saturday. I raised your hopes the other week by accidentally saying it's your 100th winning charge when it goes in the record books, the draw, which I know you're not going to be happy with, but it really was your 100th winning oh, charge today, so you can celebrate it. No, brilliant, well. and, and that's a great, another one. This is a, this is a really good one to celebrate with it, so I'm, I'm proud of that, Mark. Listen, every time, I, every time I walk out here and I manage Bath City Football Club, whether under, people say I'm under pressure, you're never under pressure with it because it's a job that I really enjoy and I thrive on that sort of stuff, so... Um, I love being challenged through it, honestly. Every time I walk out to Twitten Park, I'm so proud that I lead this group. The group are an example of me. And again, today, just to reiterate, what great work ethic, intensity. I was chatting to Dave before I'd done this. The intensity out of possession, but then the intensity in ball speed when we got the ball was really, really good. So, um, yeah, I'll just keep striving and keep pushing. And um, we're not going to win every week, we know that. And I'm not certainly not getting carried away here, but that is three games, like I say, unbeaten. And... Um, we want to try and make this, again, a fortress that we didn't quite have the first start of the season. But as we started this one against a very good side in Danny's group, um, that's a convincing win. So, um, yeah, on to Tuesday and on to Saturday, and hopefully we can, we can keep pushing up the league. I think we're sat 10th now. Mm -hmm. There's been some results that have gone a little bit indifferent in the league. All we can do is focus on us. And um, the more people we get back, the more challenging it's going to be for people to stay in the team and people to get in the team. And that's what I want. That's healthy. So... Yeah, good start of 2023 and um, thanks for all the support. Great attendance on a really wet day again. Thanks for everyone turning up and getting behind the boys. It means a lot to us, it really does. And um, hopefully it stays positive. Well done for, for three more points and we'll see you for the next couple of cup games. Cheers, thanks Mark. Thanks. Cheers, Mark.